Let's take a look how you can make this abstract form with lines here in Photoshop. I gotta go with this artboard size and let's go ahead and select the sphere, create a circle and we're gonna need to change this up to gradient. Let's go to the fill and let's select the gradient and make sure it's on black and white and to be on 90 degree angles. Now let's go ahead and select the selection tool and press control A and let's go ahead and align it to the center. Press Ctrl D to deselect. And from here, let's go to the ellipse layer and drag it into the plus to create a new duplicate. And now I'm gonna go up here to the fill and we're gonna go to the 90 degree angles and change it to minus 90 degrees. Press Ctrl T and press and hold Alt and scale it down, double click. And now press and hold Shift select all the layers, right click, convert a smart object. All right, so from here, let's go back to the circle and we're gonna change it to the rectangle. And also make sure that the fill is on the gradient. And now I'm gonna go and drag a line like this. And now press enter. And we're gonna need to create a lot of copies of this. So let's press Control Alt plus T to activate the command. Drag and drop this shape and it's gonna duplicate automatically. And I'm gonna position it somewhere here. Press enter. And from here, we're gonna duplicate this with a shortcut where you're gonna press Control plus Shift plus Alt plus T a lot of times. So it's gonna fill up the page. Press and hold Shift. Let's select all these lines, right click. Convert a smart object and we're going to need to save this. So let's go to the file, save S and I'm going to rename it a displacement. Make sure to save it as a PSD file. Click on save and I can delete this pattern and we're going to go to the filter blur and select Gaussian blur. And I'm going to go and add a little bit of blur. I can increase it 4.4. Click OK. And let's go back to filter, filter gallery. Let's open up the distortion folder and select the glass. And we're gonna go here to this little sandwich, click on it, load texture, and select the displacement PSD file, click on open, and make sure that the distortion is all the way up. Smoothness, I'm gonna go with eight, and I'm gonna scale it down. So it's gonna make the lines super dense. Click okay. Let's go back to filter. Let's go to distort and select twirl. And I'm gonna increase the angle, click OK. And about least, let's go to the adjustments and add some gradient map. Click on the gradient, and I'm gonna add some colors. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.